almost wholesale, but yeah, you know, trying to get through real, real fast. Yeah, I, I've done wholesaling, flipping, and course lot of rentals. I built my empire uh, based on the rental business, so it was just more. I mean, you make money so many different ways for a longer period of time. When you yeah. flip a home, which you, you sell the goose land and gold egg, you get paid once. You buy rentals, can be a painful process, I'll tell you. you know, the other half of the great hairs came from the rentals. <laughs> but uh, the fact is, is long term, once you master it, I promise you, you'll build a lot more wealth and income long term. And if you look at the clues of successful people who invest in real estate, all of them do rentals, every single one of them. Lee Iacocca, remember him, the guy that bailed out Chrysler? Huge investor, you know? Um, Barbara Kiyosaki, where's Chad Ford at? I don't even know if the guy ever flipped them before, you know, but he definitely does a lot of rentals. Um, Grant Cardone, 40,000 rental units, all rentals, because it's long-term, it's a more powerful investment. In any case, today, what I'm here today to teach you how to invest, but I'm actually here to teach you how to work with investors, so that you can get some money coming in and eventually work with investors, I mean, do your own investing too. Um, in fact, for those of you who did not raise your hands on the second question, which is, you know, are you investing now? Um, what would you say the thing that's been holding you back the most from investing? What's held you back the most from investing or investing more? Yeah, it's actually number two. I would say money. I don't. I mean, I don't have the money. Money. Your yeah, money is the number one answer. But the number two answer is it's fear based on lack of knowledge, not academic knowledge. Like we can, you know, we can all read books and understand what's in the books. But we're talking about an experiential knowledge, which means getting in the game and swinging the bat. Because that's how we learn. That's just how we learn. If you want to be in the ball game and get all the goodies, you got to get out of the stands and come down on the field and say, "Coach, pitch me the ball." Right? That's how it works. So, so in any case, um. Uh, I'm here to do two things. Teach you how to work with investors. So number one, we get more cash flow in our pockets, more commissions. Would that, would that help right now? More money would help you invest, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and number two is uh, more knowledge. More knowledge in the game of investing so that when you're out there investing, you're not just investing your dollars, you're investing your blood, sweat, and tears, your knowledge, your skills, and we want you to do it correctly. There's a lot of people out there teaching, we call them late night gurus. You might remember a guy named Carlton Sheets five o'clock in the morning years ago. Yeah, so I did all that stuff. And the people actually does it work and it actually does work. All that no money down and our financing, buying our terms. The thing is it just doesn't work that well. <laughs> when you think about it, if, if we're out there as agents making these kind of crazy offers, how many owners would be thrilled to receive those offers? Not very many, right? One in a thousand, one in a million, the dollars are stacked against you. So, we're more interested in people, investors who are actually putting money, putting skin in the game. They actually do put money down. The fact that sometimes they use all cash. That's a good way to do business. We work with all cash buyers. Um, but also they treat it like a business. And when you treat investing like a business, man, I promise you, you will go far further faster than you ever will just by trying to wing it, right? So um, any case, uh, uh, a little bit of housekeeping, if you can all please take your phones and put them on silent mode, that would be wonderful, not just for me, but for your neighbors. I got um, a important call I'm waiting for. Pardon, pardon me? I got an important one. Um, if you, can you put them on vibrate? Vibrate, there you go, that'll work. Yeah, we don't want you to turn them off. Because if you're like Daryl, you'll get an offer coming in on your on your listing, full price cash offer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was on the phone. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, we, we want you to take those calls. <laughs> Yeah. So in any case, uh, definitely be present, be focused, be ready, willing, able to take notes. This is a pretty information intensive class. Um, and also be ready to take action. In fact, I'll give you a quote from one of my favorite heroes. You know who John Maxwell is? He spoke at Mega Camp in 2012. I got to meet the guy. He's actually a former minister, too. He's a pretty neat guy. But there's a quote in here from, not from John, but from uh, uh, Conrad Hilton, founder of Hilton Hotels who say success seems to be connected with action. Successful people keep taking action. I know it's a cliche, but it's a cliche because it's true. Think about anybody we know who we, we believe are successful. Would you say they just read books and put them back on a shelf, or they read books and actually take action? They take action. So what, what do successful people do? They take, take action. action. They do. And when they take action, what do they get? Lots results. of money. Results, yeah. <laughs> now when they get results, what do we get? When our clients get results, what do we get? Money. They, yes. Anybody heard of me nonprofit? <laughs> Feels that way sometimes, right? So in any case, um, uh, you're gonna get an email from Beverly. It's gonna contain um, electronic version of, uh, do I have it with me? Um, I think I have, what did it leave this one? Ah, here it is. Um, no. 
this is my teacher's manual. For, you're going to get a book from Beverly, it's like a consumer version of this electronically later on tonight, could be tomorrow. Uh, that's going to be in the email. It's the second of six books I wrote on the subject. Uh, the sixth one is is actually been written, in, but it's in the middle. Well, I, I continue to, to go in and edit things and change things. I, I'll probably be another year, <laughs> but I'll get this out eventually. In any case, the second one, though, the one that I'm teaching for tonight, is the only one that's actually been ranked number one by my mom. <laughs> so in any case, uh, you're going to get that. You're going to get links from today's class. So I'm going to call out some, I want to go over some websites with you. Just write down the root word, the root, the key of the, the website. Later on, the email will have the full links, okay? I'm also going to give you, or Beverly's going to give you um, a recording of one of our webinars. I do webinars every week on this subject. Uh, the one Beverly is going to give you focuses on one of the marketing campaigns we're going to cover today. So, uh, in fact, I just did a webinar last night right from the Oceanfront. If you want to one of the creative purchasing techniques, yep, uh, you know, creative financing, things like that, um, all good stuff. So, in any case, uh, look for the email. If you don't see it, just call or email. Beverly used to be one of our KW admins. She now works full time for these guys. Um, by the way, I'm teaching from the Investor Region Training Program. That's where the content comes from, the class today. Now, because I've been in the region probably twice before and also close, like right, literally right up the road, and we've got people who are in the program, these guys from the program, if you have questions about the program, all we ask is you save those so that class is over, okay? Mm -hmm. During class.